Hi guys, today I would like to briefly talk about the M Division's S58 engine and clarify how similar or how different it is to the M Performance B58 engine. The S58 was introduced in 2019 and is the successor to the S55 engine. It is currently found in the following M cars, X3M, X4M, M3 and M4. Both the B58TU and S58 are 3 liter 6 cylinder engines. But whereas the highest power B58TU, the B58 B3001, produces 382 horsepower, the highest current output of the S58 is over 500 horsepower. So let's have a quick look at the engine designations. The B58 introduced in 2016 has one variant designated B58 B30 M0. The B58 TU introduced in 2018 has two variants designated B58 B30 M1 and B58 B30 O1. Finally, the S58 has one variant, introduced in 2019, designated S58 B30 T0. Now this one is tuned to 480 horsepower or 510 horsepower, depending on whether the M car has the competition package or not. At first glance, the designations are very similar, which gives the impression they are very similar engines. But in fact, the S58 only shares 10% of its technology with the B58 or B58TU, but the other 90% is new, according to BMW. Let's quickly look at what these designations mean. The first letter is the engine developer. B, M or N mean the BMW group. S means the M division. The second letter is the engine type. For example, Code 3 means 3-cylinder inline engine, Code 6 means V8 engine, etc. In this case, number 5 means it is a 6-cylinder inline engine. The third number, 8, means all these engines are TVDI engines. TVDI stands for Turbo Valvetronic Direct Injection. Number 7, for example, would have meant Diesel Direct Fuel Injection with turbocharging. The next code, B, means a petrol engine with longitudinal installation. A would have meant petrol engine with transversal installation, H would have meant hydrogen engine and many others. The next two numbers are the engine displacement and of course in all these cases they are 3.0 liter engines. The next letter is the performance class. K would mean the lowest, U would mean lower, M means medium, O means upper, T means top and S means super. It's interesting that there is a class above T even for these M power engines. Finally, the last number is the redesign relevant to approval, where zero means a new design and numbers one and higher mean revision numbers. So we can see the engine designations for B58 and S58 engines might be similar, but they are broadly generic and do not necessarily mean the engines are closely related technologically. The S58 engine is loosely based on the B58TU engine, so it has been possible to carry over a number of engine components from the B58TU to the S58. The other 90% of the engine components are new developments or combination or mixed parts with the B58TU. A lot of engineering has gone into reducing pressure losses in the intake and exhaust system to maximize efficiencies and responsiveness. So let's examine the differences between these two engines. The fuel pump pressure for the S58 is 350 bar like the B58TU so it also uses fuel injectors that can cope with 350 bar pressure. However, in the case of the S58, there are two high-pressure fuel pumps. The S58 has two high-pressure pumps connected in parallel. The two high-pressure pumps are operated in alternation every 30 seconds. That ensures that both high-pressure pumps are evenly loaded when the vehicle is being driven moderately. When the vehicle is being driven harder or at full power, both high-pressure pumps are operated simultaneously. This was necessary in order to satisfy the higher throughput volume of fuel required at high engine speeds. Control is achieved by means of the volume control valve. The S58 engine has two snorkels that feed air into the engine for combustion. The snorkels direct air into the engine cover which acts as the intake muffler box and houses the much larger, compared to the B58, air filter. 
The design of the intake air system is more complex due to the fact that there are two turbochargers. Unlike the B58 and B58 TU engines, which utilize a single twin scroll exhaust turbocharger, the S58 uses two single scroll turbochargers, each with its own electrical wastegate actuator to control boost. The S58 engine's twin turbocharger system using monoscroll turbochargers was also used on the S55 engine. The exhaust system is a cylinder dependent twin pipe design. The exhaust system was designed for minimum exhaust gas pressure and reduced exhaust temperature. With the throttling of the exhaust system, the efficiency of the gas exchange could be optimized even further. One exhaust manifold is used for every bank. The condensing of the three exhaust ducts into a single exhaust duct results in an optimal inflow of the turbine of the exhaust turbocharger. The exhaust manifold is cast into one part together with the turbine housing of the exhaust turbocharger and is thus one component. As the S58 uses two turbochargers, there are two catalytic converters. The S58 engine has one close-to-engine catalytic converter per cylinder bank, each with a ceramic monolith. Engine displacement is the measure of the cylinder volume swept by all the pistons. In the case of the B58 TU engine, the displacement is 2,998 cubic centimeters, whereas the S58 has a displacement of 2,993 cubic centimeters. In a piston engine, the bore, or cylinder bore, is the diameter of each cylinder. Stroke length is the distance traveled by the piston during each cycle. Bore to stroke ratio, or stroke to bore ratio, is a term to describe the ratio between cylinder bore diameter and piston stroke length. In the case of the B58 TU engine, the bore hole to stroke ratio is 0.87, whereas in the case of the S58, the bore hole to stroke ratio is 0.93. In a combustion engine, the compression ratio is calculated based on the relative volumes of the cylinder when the piston is at the bottom of its stroke and the volume of the cylinder when the piston is at the top of its stroke. The compression ratio for the B58 TU engine is 11 to 1, whereas in the case of the S58, it is 9.3 to 1. Engine block improvements include new cylinder head cover adapted to the two high-pressure pumps as well as adapted crankcase ventilation. A new cylinder head incorporating mounting for the two high-pressure fuel pumps and does not feature split cooling like the B58 TU. The water chamber cross-sections have been enlarged. Revised cylinder head gasket due to higher combustion pressure of the S58 engine. Crankcase has been adapted for the two turbos and, as there is no heat management module, the relevant attachment was deleted. There are also additional oil ducts for switchable piston cooling. Forged and lightweight crankshaft with bearing improvements, with stroke increased to 90 mm, and adaptation to the high-speed concept of the main bearings in crankshaft. Optimized and strengthened forged lightweight pistons. Exhaust camshaft with twin triple cams for the driving the high-pressure fuel pumps. The high-pressure circuit for engine cooling has been revised for high-performance operation without power restriction. This includes new mechanical coolant pump with a higher delivery rate and delivery head, additional electric cooling pump for, for the exhaust turbochargers, cooling throttle body, and, as already mentioned, split cooling discontinued and heat management module discarded. The low temperature circuit for charge air cooling has two heat exchangers and a dedicated electric cooling pump. The oil system has been optimized for racetrack demand. This includes additional oil sump lid, spur gear type oil pump, additional oil return pumps, additional oil extraction and centrally switchable piston cooling. Let's also briefly mention some similarities between the B58TU and S58 engine. The chain drive concept has been carried over from the B58TU engine the timing chain and guide rail have been adapted from the B58 to the S58 engine. The intake valves are about the same design with some material changes. The Venos concept is carried over but with some modifications due to the adapted timing chain. The belt drive is similar but the vibration damper has been adapted for the higher speeds of the engine. And there is an additional belt roll 
between the belt wheel crankshaft and the air conditioning compressor. The injectors are also very similar between the B58TU and S58 engine. And finally the DME is very similar, except for the dedicated software for this higher power engine. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.